It's a good feeling if you can make life easier for people. For us, this means to invent and produce quick connect couplings. Solutions that increase your capacity and that keep you safe. But how did it all start? The year is 1912 and a little boy, Carl, is born in a soldier's croft in Horn, a small village in the southern part of Sweden. For Carl, the world is a magical place, full of possibilities, and his mind harbors a keen desire to invent and refine. His inventing career starts early, and Carl builds his first radio transmitter at the age of eight. And in the neighborhood, he becomes known as the clever one. Carl has a sweetheart, Anna, and as a young man, his goal is to find employment and to make her his wife. As a driven man, he succeeds despite tough times, and the couple sets down in their newly built house in Hovde. They have four children, Uwe, Kent, Bo and Inga. Carl is now working as a tool grinder at the Royal Armour Regiment of Skaraboy. Leaking and inefficient couplings make his hourly piecework a struggle and a frustrated Carl sets out to invent a better coupling. A lot of time and money is invested. The patent he's hoping for is rejected, and Carl becomes overburdened with a double workload and financial debt, and is facing a life crisis. But a creative mind is not easily silenced. Guided by the natural world, Carl finds inspiration from a raindrop and the streamlined shapes that bend the laws of nature. He creates a valve with minimal resistance to air, an invention that secures him his desired worldwide patent. Always standing by Carl's side, Anna takes her inheritance and buys Carl his first lathe, and the company Sane is formed, the name derived from his initials, Carl Erik Josef Nieberg. In the former Tunj Bay retirement home outside Hovde, a small business is starting to blossom. Carl's children are now old enough to get involved, together with many young boys from the local area, and they are referred to as the boys at the home. Carl treats his employees like family, and the atmosphere is easygoing and ambitious. Every morning, Carl picks the boys up in his Volkswagen minibus, and at the end of the day, he drives them back home. The bus also had another, perhaps even more important function taking the boys dancing on Saturday nights. At the end of the 1960s, two large Swedish manufacturing companies within pneumatics and high-pressure hydraulics enter into contracts with Sane. This leads to increased turnover and production at the old home is running at maximum. In order to keep up with demand, Sane starts building new premises in Hovde, a project supervised by a young third-generation current president, Marcus Alabier. The business is prospering, but another more worrying problem surfaces, Carl's weak heart. On 13th November 1970, at the age of 58, Carl Niebay passes away from a heart attack. On his deathbed, he asks his children to keep on running his life's work, sane, a wish that has been honored and fulfilled ever since. Carl's children have transformed Sane into an international company, now operating across 18 locations worldwide. Animated by the same spirit as at the beginning, we strive to make sure that quality, safety and performance always comes first, best for the user and the environment. And as Carl stated, everything that leaves Sane must be inspected and safe. Innovation continues to thrive with new technologies and the third generation at the helm. We really think Carl would have been pleased to see where we are heading. <laughs>